In this video we will show you how to grind and polish concrete using the edge by Workmaster. First, we will need to remove the paint from this concrete floor. We will use our 16 grit shark and straight bar combo tooling to remove the paint from the floor. Before we begin, make sure you have the yellow compression foams installed in between the pad driver and plug and go plate. Simply fit the shark and straight bars onto the plug and go plate. Position the dusker so that there is approximately a gap that is 1 8 inch or 3 millimeters all the way around the bottom of the machine. Connect your vacuum hose to the edge. This will allow for proper airflow into your dust collection system. The edge is available in 220 or 110 volt models. Set the speed on the VFD to about the halfway point. Always start at a low speed and gradually increase the RPM as required. Adjust the handle to a position that is comfortable for you to operate the machine. To start the machine, squeeze the lever on the handle towards you and press the start button. You are now ready to begin grinding. Keep the edge in motion to avoid putting tool marks in the floor. Continue grinding until all the paint and contamination is removed and you have reached the desired level of aggregate exposure. Use the edge to get to within 1 8 inch or 3 millimeters to the wall. Because the edge takes care of most of the room, all you will need is a small oscillating tool to clean up the fine details in the corners. You can now change over to the 3040 grit teardrop tooling. If we had started with a bare concrete floor with no paint or coatings to remove, this would be our first step. For best results on the metal grinding stages, run the machine in both north-south and east-west directions. Once all the floor has been evenly ground, move on to the 7080 grit teardrop tooling. Now you are ready to do any cosmetic repairs to the concrete. Remove any loose material and vacuum thoroughly. Fill the holes and cracks with a high quality patching compound. Keep in mind deep holes may need more than one application of patching compound. When the patching compound is dry, remove any excess with the same 70-80 grit teardrop tooling. Now you are ready to use your transitional tooling. Use the foam velcro adapter plates with yellow compression foam In this case, we are using 100 grit acromic tooling. When all the scratches from the metal bond tooling have been removed, you are ready to move on to the next step, densification. Workmaster offers two solutions to densify concrete. Our standard application is to apply ultra-hard lithium densifier vacuum the floor thoroughly before you apply the densifier. Work the densifier into the floor and make sure there are no puddles. The floor should stay looking wet for about 5 minutes. Allow the densifier to dry a minimum of 60 minutes. The second way to densify your floor and fill small holes and cracks is to use Ultra Densifil Lithium Densifier. Use a pump up sprayer to dampen the floor. With your transitional tooling on your machine, create a slurry paste over the floor. Allow the slurry paste to harden and remove the residue with your transitional tooling. Be thorough with your transitional stage tooling and remove all the haze before moving on to the polishing stages. Now that the floor has been densified, we are ready to move to our polishing resins. We are starting with 200 grit. For best results, thoroughly refine the floor with the polishing resins. Use your oscillating tool and one of the polishing resins from your machine to detail the corners.
follow the same process of refining the floor with the 400, 800, 1500 and 3000 grit resins. Thoroughly vacuum the floor between each resin stage. Follow the same process of refining the floor with the 800s, 1500s, and 3000 grit resins. Once the appropriate level of polish has been achieved, thoroughly vacuum the floor, take a clean microfiber applicator and apply a small amount of UltraGuard to it and a light coat on the floor. Use the microfiber applicator and pump sprayer to ensure a thin and even coat of UltraGuard has been applied. Repeat this stage two times. To give your polished concrete floor a maximum shine, use the edge as a high speed burnisher and buff the floor. Allow the floor to dry for a minimum of 60 minutes prior to burnishing. Your concrete floor is now polished using the complete Workmaster Polish Concrete System and is ready to turn over to your customer. Thanks for watching. For more information on Workmaster Systems and Solutions, please visit our website.